Well, I showed in my previous video the limitations of using a budget AM1 Athlon CPU for a home theater PC. Now, what happens if you pair that with an NVIDIA GT640 graphics card? Well, then you have a very good home theater PC that far exceeds the capacity that the APU on board graphics of the Athlon CPU can actually manage. So let's take a look at it. So once again, I'm repeating the same tests. Here we have Star Wars Episode 3. So that's 1080p H.264 encoded video with post-processing enabled, so I'm doing noise reduction and smoothing. So starting with Star Wars Episode 3 again. Notice I'm skipping forward rather quickly there. And let's bring up the information there. CPU usage is absolute minimal. You see I have enabled post-processing. So I've got sharpness and noise reduction on. I have to keep the audio off at this point because a copyright's claimed by Fox for about a 10 second clip of music. But you can see it's playing absolutely fine, even for a menu transition and even with the smoothing and noise reduction effects. Wow, look at the difference there, hey? That's quite an improvement, and it actually kept up perfectly fine. Now to show you a Blu-ray video, once again I have post-processing enabled. Bring up the info. See, CPU usage is once again very minimal. Let's unmute it. Any sign of audio skipping? Oh, it actually skipped two frames here. Oh, three frames now. But frame skipping is so low here, it's pretty much unnoticeable. So, nothing much. I know it doesn't make any of the horrible noises that. Uh, the APU does on the graphics with clipping on the audio because I've watched this whole movie on the same graphics card. Again, absolutely no problems. There's no stuttering. There was a few frames dropped, but very few in the end. Uh, I've never noticed it be an issue and I've watched all the way through that video as well as quite a few other videos on that system. I'm now to see what H.265 video can do. Now that did actually work okay before, but uh, let's see what it's like with a different graphics card. Although, bearing in mind, there is no hardware acceleration. And yes, it is a Korean movie. <laughs> First one I downloaded, and I didn't download another one for this test. Staying nicely in sync. So that was a look at the AM1 Athlon 5350 CPU paired with an NVIDIA GT640 graphics card. Now that to me is a brilliant home theater PC. It's now about the... Oh, what are we on? sixth generation home theater PC I've had and I've gone down in power usage each time and I've almost gained in quality as well although this time I'm sort of on par with my previous CPU which was uh, AMD FM2 oh, I can't remember the model but it was a 65 watt Athlon that was about 3.2 gigahertz quad core so 2.05 gigahertz was equal to about 3.2 gigahertz quad core but it's using the graphics card mostly, so <laughs> that's why it's sort of cheating it. The CPU in this respect didn't really make a difference. As long as it could keep up with H.265 video, that's all that counts for it really. So thanks for watching, I'll see you all later.